Some people say we're living the dream, and we couldn't agree more. We live in all kinds of places, from cities, to parking lots, to national parks, to the middle of nowhere, like today. But more often than not, people want to know how we do it. Welcome to our home. Now get comfortable, because we want you to spend the next 24 hours with us so we can show you how we live off the court and wherever we want. Parts of our day don't look much different than anyone else's, but there is a difference. We're not plugged into or connected to anything. No electrical, no water, no sewer. Our power comes from the sun. We're loaded with 600 watts of solar, a 3000 watt pure sine inverter, a smart converter charger, and two six volt batteries. But with this much solar power, we could use a lot more batteries. This is the heart of our boondocking arsenal. Because there's free power rolling in from the sun, we try and take full advantage of it. Good. We use electric gadgets like an induction plate for cooking instead of the propane stove. Anything else interesting this remote shows how much power is being drawn from the batteries, and we can tell the induction plate pulls a lot of power. Here's the solar controller. You can see our solar is bringing in 13.8 amps, and our batteries are at 11.9 volts, which is 55% charged. On a perfect day, our panels can bring in 34 amps. It's pretty hazy today, so we won't bring in quite that much power. For the amount of solar we have, we really need more than just our two batteries. Because of the haze and our limited battery supply, we'll be a little more cautious with our power-hungry devices today. Since we're limited by our batteries, our solar isn't wired into our water heater. This is where we take advantage of our propane. So, the morning routine isn't much different than the norm. Conserving water is important, but so is my morning shower. So we've installed a shutoff valve to save on water while lathering up, and a low flow shower head that uses half the amount of water without losing pressure. We've done the same with the faucets, by replacing the aerators with ones that reduce water flow, but keep the pressure. Our batteries are almost full, and we're bringing in 17.5 amps. So, it's time to get ready for the day. We replaced our traditional toilet with a composting toilet. It doesn't use any water, eliminates the black tank and any need for sewer. Our batteries are all charged up, which is a good time to start making water. Our micro distiller allows us to take water from just about any source and turn it into tasty, clean, and safe drinking water. The process takes around six hours, so we make sure to start this when our batteries are full and early in the day. As the day warms up, we can't use a traditional air conditioner because it draws too much constant power to run off our batteries. So, we stay in moderate climates, pop open the windows, get the air circulating, and it stays pretty comfortable. Solar is the heart of our boondocking setup. 
The sun pumps power into our batteries and breathes life to each and every light, appliance, and gadget. When the sun shines, we live like kings. We use what we want, when we want it. From kitchen appliances, to charging our gear, to running our businesses, and of course, keeping us looking good. When the sun plays peekaboo with the clouds, it's easy to see the direct effect on our power coming in. We can still go about our day. We're just a little more mindful of our power-hungry appliances. And sometimes, the clouds completely take over. But Mother Nature can change her mind at any time. After a short-lived sprinkle, we head out to take advantage of what we've come all the way out here for. Nature. This is Hog Lake, just outside of Spokane, Washington. It's part of the Fish Trap BLM Recreation Area, and it's free Not public lands for all of us to enjoy with only a few rules. Typically, BLM is beautiful, undisturbed areas that are perfect for unplugging, sure unwinding, and reconnecting. The sun is starting to set, so we activate the power boost. It's a setting that gets every last drop of power into our batteries. This is our reminder it's time to start conserving energy and prepare for the night. So we switch our fridge from electric to propane, disconnect the high wattage appliances and anything else that's not in use. Even though the sun's going down, we still have power coming in. And if we had more batteries to hold that power, we wouldn't have to worry as much. As the sun falls behind the hills, we move the portable panel to catch the morning rays, and we take in the last few minutes of twilight. Sure, we have to monitor how much electricity and water we use, but our off the cord living is just as comfortable as any home. The difference is, we can take ours anywhere the sun shines. Some days are better than others, but most are better than average. 
So I guess you could say we are living the dream. But the beautiful thing is, so can you. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs>